Class is now in session. I'm Professor Rocky, and today we will be recapping day one of the second round of the NHL playoffs. Only one game on the day because this was the first second round series that got set in stone, and that was Avalanche versus Dallas Stars. And to start it off, game one, the Stars take the 1 0 series lead with a 5 3 victory. This one started off well for the Stars. They got this first goal from Sagan. It was tied up soon after by McKinnon, but then the Stars would get two more from Como and and then Radulov to end the first period up 3-1. Landis Kog would get his first of these playoffs to make it 3-2 before Radulov would add another for 4-2. McKinnon would add another for 4-3. And in the third period, it would only be Rupe Hints scoring for the Stars to take the 5-3 victory and set themselves up well so far in this series. The good news for the Dallas Stars, it has to be that their top players actually showed up here. The Stars, through that first round, were getting some great performances from some of their lesser players, or at least their non-first line players, players like Pavelski, players like Gurianov. And so it was said that going into this series with how strong the Avalanche are offensively and how good that first line is, the Stars would have to get similar style of contribution from their first line. And that's exactly what happened in this game. Sagan scored his first of the playoffs a couple goals added by Radulov so they managed to do well in this game and when you look at the Avalanche first line they did the exact same but it was the Stars depth that ends up putting them over the edge so great game from the Stars the only bad news that I could really think of it's tough to necessarily pinpoint too much of bad news here for the Stars the only thing that really gives me some sort of doubt in this series does have to come from the goaltending side mostly because I don't know if the Dallas Stars uh, offense will necessarily hold up throughout this entire series. It's possible that it does because it has been proving me wrong, especially right throughout this first series, but I just don't know if it will necessarily be as strong as the Avalanche, which would mean that if the Stars want to win, the Stars goaltending will have to be stronger than the Avalanche, and I don't know how much faith I'll put into someone like Anton Kudobin. He wasn't bad in this game by any means, but he also wasn't fantastic, let's just say, led in these three goals. So that is the only thing that really makes me doubt doubtful here of the Dallas Stars, but so far, so good. And to the Avalanche, the good news, it has to be Nathan McKinnon shows up ready to play. He, he's just such a force in the uh, regular season and, of course, in the playoffs. There are very few of these top young offensive players who are able to actually show up extremely well through the playoffs. Yeah, so just looking at the Dallas Stars' last opponent, obviously Johnny Goodrow seemingly has a lot of issues in the playoffs when it comes to this because obviously the defense tightens up in the playoffs, but McKinnon doesn't seem to have any of these issues, just keeps racking up these points here, and he does it again here tonight. Two goals, one assist. That's really the big news for the Avalanche. The bad news for the Avalanche does have to be these couple of injuries that they did sustain here. Philip Grubauer, he didn't, he hasn't had to been spectacular through these playoffs, mostly just because the Avalanche have been systematically just dismantling their opponents at this point but you know he has looked good and in this game he didn't have the best of games a couple of soft goals but he ends up getting injured and so Francis has to come in step up as this avalanche backup goalie and it seems as though Grubauer's injury is actually rather serious I would be surprised to see him back in this series at some point and so Francis will have to step up you know Francis got a respectable amount of games during the regular season but he's certainly no starter there with Philip Grubauer so we'll see how the avalanche are able to respond Francis was good in relief but how will he be good as the series progresses and another injury sustained, Eric Johnson goes down. He's actually one of the more underrated defensemen in the NHL. Obviously, when people look at the Avalanche defense, they'll look at Makar, they'll look at Gerard. But Eric Johnson sort of quietly does his job extremely, extremely well. Very good defensive force on the back end for the Colorado Colorado Avalanche and so losing him is actually a big deal especially when you combine with the fact that they have lost their starting goaltender so will this be a situation like it was with Winnipeg in the play-ins where they lost two key players and ended up just losing out in that play-in series against the Colorado uh, the Calgary Flames maybe maybe not maybe the Avalanche will be able to cover from this but certainly not a great start to this series but that would do it for this recap in terms of predictions I had said the Avalanche would win in five games I was leaning somewhat towards six but I decided to go with the bold call of five games and that is not looking great so far considering these stars have won this game one so if the unless the avalanche win out looks like the prediction might be a bit off class dismissed